All right, guys, I'm going to combine topics 1.3 and 1.4, mainly because you've heard about them uh, over and over and over if you've been in the class for three years. Also, basically, they're dealing with the causes and effects of European exploration in the Americas. So looking at it this way, 1.3 is the causes, 1.4 is the effects. That's the best way to look at this. So as we're looking at 1.3 and learning objective one, you break this down into three things. Okay, these causes uh, all boil down to the fact that European nations are attempting to search for new sources of wealth. They're competing with each other on an economic and military basis, and they're also attempting to spread Christianity. As far as things you can drop in, like I said earlier, and we'll continue to say, whatever you've got in the box will work. These are just ideas if you've got it, if it's empty. When it comes to the new sources of wealth, a good thing to be able to reference would be mercantilism, which is the economic system under which these European nations run at this time. Uh, we've talked about it multiple times. It relies on imports and exports, and you need to be able to export more than you import. So you need raw materials. Um, dealing with the desire to spread Christianity, a couple of things you could reference, uh, even though this is all outside of the time, a little bit outside of the time period. The Protestant Reformation is what kickstarts this. And then we move to the Catholic Reformation. And then with Spain, when it comes to their exploration, it doesn't really get going without the Reconquista. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to know a little bit about all those things. Moving down to 1.4 with the Columbian Exchange Exploration and Conquest, yada, yada, yada. This is dealing with the effects. So if you're looking at box A, these are the effects on Europe. You have population growth, uh, new sources of mineral wealth. Basically, it's going to shift their economies to capitalism. So you should have some examples in there of these crops and the mineral wealth. If not, we'll handle it later. You can get it from a review video. Um, another thing, uh, effect of it is the, uh, the changes in economies in Europe, in Europe and the Americas, looking at box B, the things that get, the thing that gets this going is, or are the improvements in maritime technology, such as the Astrolabe, Latin Sail, and Caravel. And then joint stock companies are going to drive this as well. We've talked about joint stock companies being kind of like early corporations. An example of that would be the Virginia company. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. And then C, this is going to be the effects of exploration, initial effects of exploration on the Americas, which is really where we get into that side of the Columbian Exchange. You're looking at epidemics such as smallpox, the introduction, of new animals like horses, pigs, cattle, and the introduction of new crops. Mainly, we're not dealing with crops, we're dealing with the weeds. A way to approach this is, what are the demographic changes that happen because of the Columbian Exchange from smallpox? And then what are the environmental effects that happen on the Americas? Go ahead and let you know, neither one of those to a large degree are going to be positive. So as you're looking at this, frame it like that positive, negative, demographic, demographic, environmental, economic, categorize this stuff and try to develop an argument as you look at it. All right, so short, sweet, to the point. There you go with that one. Uh, we'll move on to the next one.